We are here today with John Keir. How are we? I'm very good, thank you. I think uh, we've ended the season really well. Uh, we've got promoted. So uh, we're absolutely delighted. So it's been a very special day for, for myself and more importantly for Bradford Bulls. Um, uh, how much did the, the season mean to you? It meant a lot. It's been hard because we've been the one who've been shot at, but uh, we've managed to handle that and we've come through the other side and we've finished the season in with two great performances. And I think that's as well as we've played all season against Holdham and then against Workington here. I mean, uh, obviously there's been a uh, couple of times um, we've shot ourselves in the foot, but um, would you say uh, we've mostly uh, played for the fans? Yeah, I think it's been a great year. I mean, we've only lost three out of 28, 26 games, so I'd have thought that would have got us up automatically normally, but we had to go through this uh, route, and uh, you know, and I think they've, they've had two really tough teams to play against, and they've come out convincing winners in both, so I'd like to applaud the players and say well done to them. I'd like to thank the fans as well, who've been absolutely fantastic, stayed with us all the time, been to all these different places in League One, but I'm glad now it's the Championship and we can look up once again. What had to be the toughest game for the squad? I think the toughest game is when we played Workington before and we lost those two but we had to change how we played them and we did change that today and obviously it's worked very well for us. Thank you John. Thank you. We're here today with Josh Burgess and Elliot Whitehead, how are we? Very good, very good to see Bradford Bulls get the win. Bit of success, it's been a struggling few years for the Bulls so it's great to be here to see them win the grand final. Yeah, like George says, you know, we've all come down to watch him and we hope to get the result today and um, we've got the result and, um, you know, I think, I think you can see by everyone's reaction, everyone's happy to see him get back uh, to championship. Uh, now, who had to be your standout player today? Well, I just got here for the second half, but I saw the big front rowers hitting the ball up, hitting short. I saw uh, Ross Peltier, I used to play, play with him back in the academy, he, he had a few good carries and obviously the winger there, I don't, I don't know his name, but he, he was scoring tries for fun in that second half, so yeah, it's one step, to, one step closer to Super League for him and I'm happy for him. Yeah, for me I think um, Dane Chisholm really stepped up and um, you know, he really controlled that game in the second half and you know, he got a drop goal late on as well and you know, um, Steve Crossley has been good as well all year, he's the captain now. Um, he was pretty disappointing with his conversion attempt because I used to play with him when I was younger and I've seen him kick a few from the sidelines so um, for him to miss that was pretty disappointing but yeah, um, probably Dane or Steve. If you were drunk here, uh, what player would you sign for next season? Uh, Elliot Whitehead. <laughs> Alright, I'll say George Burgess then since he's next to me. <laughs> Cheers lads. Cheers mate. Cheers mate, nice to meet you, thank you. We are here today with Tom Burgess, how are we? How are you going, Rhys? Very good. Reminiscing down back at Oddsall Stadium for the uh, the grand final. Uh, it's great. It's great to be back. A lot of memories here. Uh, how do you feel uh, for the Bradford Lads today? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, it's good to see everyone cheering, everyone with a smile on the face. Back at back at Bradford, and uh, you know, it's been it's been a, a long time coming. I think for them, they've, they've worked hard, and hopefully, they can go on and do well next year in the championship. Could you tell it meant a lot to Bradford today, to the Bradford fans? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you just see the amount of people that are here and all the, all, you know, all the ex-players coming down and supporting. Like, there's me, George, and Elliot, and John, and J James Donaldson, Chef Walker. You know, we're all here and oh, you know, wanting Bradford to do well. Yeah. And um, if you were John Keir, who would you sign for next season? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, I don't know, there's pl plenty of good players around. I think, I don't know, maybe just try, try to get a good half back from somewhere. You can build a team around him. You get, maybe get like a good ball playing half back. I'm not sure who though. Cheers, Reese. Nice to meet you, bud. We're t here today with Callum. How are we? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Uh, what do you think of that game today? Good. Um, a bit, a bit. Dirty over team, but I'm okay. Um, who's your favourite player? St Steve Crossley. Do you have anything to say to Steve? <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> Too scared? Nah, I, I see him at my school. Ah, you go to Fountain then? Yeah, I do. Um, how do you think the season's gone? Good. Um, a bit. We lost some matches, but. God. Thank you, Callum.
Cheers. We are here today with John Bitton. How are we? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? I'm good. Um, uh, what would you say to the ref for the last year? Yeah, congratulations. It was a fantastic result, obviously. Coming off the back of just missing out of the league, but a good result today, and they've gone up, so yeah, really good. Um, do you think it um, really proved, um, proved working today? Because obviously they beat us twice in, during the season. Yeah, I think it was a good result. Obviously, they won by quite a bit today, and like you said, they beat you twice this season, so it was going to be a tough game coming into this, but it was a really good result. Uh, could you see how much it went to the Ravens today? Yeah, they're fantastic, mate. Obviously, I've, I've been down here since I was a young kid, and today to come back today and all back for the fans celebrate. Good. And how do you feel your season's going? Yeah, good, mate. Obviously, getting to the grand final on Thursday, on Friday, sorry, and we're going to go down Saturday, so we're looking forward to it. Cheers, John. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers, thank you very much. We are here today with Matt Garside. How are we? Really good. Good on it. Nice to see you packed out, Hodsell, and, and a good performance from the boys and beating Workington, third time lucky, to gain promotion. How do you feel um, for Bradford to lift that cup? Yeah, listen, we, we knew Workington strengths today and we just had to dominate them, dominate in the middle, um, be aggressive. We matched them with their aggression and lifting that cup at the end in front of all them fans was, was really good. You came off today, how do you feel for that? Got a little yellow card, didn't I? A little yeah. ten minutes, um, professional foul. Um, they got a 20 metre tap, I tried to get in way of the ball, uh, slow it down, probably a bit silly by me, so I put my hand up and said sorry to the boys for that, but they did okay without me. So. Um, who uh, has to be um, the best coach in the Super League? Who's the best coach in the Super League? Um, I was watching the game on the week. Saints coach Justin Hopper didn't look very good there, but I reckon he's got a bit up there. So yeah, there's got to be some good coaches, aren't there? How do you feel the season's gone so far? Well, well, well we're at the end of the now, yeah, obviously, we, we, our goal was, was promotion. Um, we've got that. Uh, we start the season really well, beating York in that first game. Um, we probably lost a bit of form to the back end of the season. And then obviously give it to work into the Obviously, our goal was promotion. We've probably not got it the way that we wanted, which was automatic, but to have today as a spectacle in front of the trophy. That's to be a powerful signing for the season. Next season? No. So I reckon, obviously, we saw today with, with Jai, Jai's footwork and finishing them tries in the corner, Gibbo drawing the man, passing it to him and him finishing the corner, yeah. Jai was probably a massive signing for us, so we're happy that he could, he could join us for some games. Thank you, Matt. Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. We're here today with Kirsten Maroney and Amy Hardcastle. How are we? Yeah, good. Really good day. Yeah, really good. Glad we've made it to get up into the championship now. It's onwards and upwards. How do you feel your season has gone? Yeah, it's been tough. Um, we've had a really good group of girls. The results haven't gone our way, but uh, hopefully we'll build for next season and come back stronger than ever. Yeah, it's been a very tough one. We lost quite a few players at the beginning of the season, but we, you know, we, we did recruit and we got a few, but... Now we've got to build on that and recruit some more and I think next season we, we could have a good chance. Uh, now uh, you're retiring, obviously. Uh, so um, what do you have to say for the ladies next season? Yeah, no, just uh, hopefully I'll still be involved in some capacity with the club but uh, unsure what that is yet. But, you know, the girls will all stay together and I'm sure it'll be uh, still a good season. And obviously, uh, do you have anything to build on that? Yeah, of course. We've got a really good young group of girls. Um, I think they understand now what the Women's Super League is about, so hopefully you know, they'll understand what the level of competition is, so hopefully it'll only get better. Uh, do you feel we can stay in the Super League next season? Yeah, definitely. We won't be going nowhere. We, you know, we did come like top with like five, um, but you know, if Cass had lost, we'd have been in fourth. We, we, we start building at the end of the season. We had a bit of a rough start, but as we come to the end of the season, we start building, we found a structure and we played really well. Yeah, good. So just echo what Amy said. Um, I think it was a tough year for us, but ultimately we'll come back next year um, stronger in every department. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Reese. Thank you.